off on the trail as you can see it's a pretty gloomy day uh, it's probably 50 but we have some rain and thunderstorms coming and hopefully they're later in the day uh, planning to do 15 miles I know my planning hasn't worked in the last couple days but I'm hoping today will be a little bit better I've had a problem with uh, one toe on my right foot the one next to the big toe and that's really been bothering me and so I put some mole skin on it I thought it might have been the nail give me some trouble as well and I had it taped up so last night <clears throat> yesterday I think it was 12.1 you know far short of what I planned to do but my toe was really bugging me I cut the wrapping off of my toe last night and the entire toenail came off. I kind of thought there was something going on with the toenail. Uh, the way it was rubbing the top of my shoe. Uh, but anyway, uh, there was a little mini toenail forming underneath it. So that was pretty cool. I put some, I cleaned it up with an antiseptic wipe. I carried three of them. Uh, and then I put some Neosporin in on it, which is the only little sauce or gel I have for any of that stuff and then I slapped a bandage on it and put a piece of tape on it so it would stay on feeling okay today nothing like it was yesterday left foot's 100% <laughs> which is good to report I'm just hiking trying to get miles in before rain and thunderstorms start which might be happening when you're out here on the trail you learn something every day one night. I have this little pillow that I kind of like. It's, it's lightweight, three ounces or so, but I pulled it out and it was wet. I'm going to ditch the pillow. The other thing I'm going to ditch is my pack cover. It's kind of worthless because I put it on and it seems like it doesn't do much aside from, you know, get rain on the back of my legs and the top of the pack and everything got wet. I have a trash compactor bag inside a uh, little more durable than like just a regular trash bag and it's white so when I put that I can see stuff inside the pack uh, that, that that keeps everything dry that I need to keep dry and the stuff that I have in the outside pockets on the, my backpack are things like my water filter kit uh, my first aid kit my toilet kit uh, rain pants and my cooking stuff and quite honestly that all can get wet because I either have it in, in ziplock bags to keep it quasi dry or it can get wet anyway and uh, it's not the end of the world. My, my pack is not waterproof it's water resistant but you know if it's raining hard everything gets wet and the last thing I think I'm thinking about ditching is I have this Thermarest bag that kind of doubles as a laundry bag when I go in town. Not super essential though. And it's a uh, like a pump, not a pump sack, but you put put the end on the nozzle for the Thermarest uh, pad that I sleep on. And usually five bags of air. And I'll inflate it and then I top it off with a few from my mouth and it's not bad I mean it's a it's a nice piece of gear but I can blow up the mattress with 40 or 45 puffs and so I'm gonna try just unloading that and blowing it up I know some people complain big time at the end of a long day when they're tired to put a lot of air a lot of wind and in, into the air yeah, mattress but I don't know I'm gonna give it a shot I'm just exiting here this mountain lake wilderness this is where I was yesterday killing off uh, where I did a little video I came through uh, kept going by wind rock I really didn't see today because it was pretty ugly and now I'm getting out of here and I came across this pretty cool looking tree it's got some nice fungus growing on it uh, Trail's been pretty gentle in here. Virginia 630 
by a big stony flats road, I think, as they call it. I'm guessing this is Big Stony Creek. Runs underneath this footbridge. This used to be called the Captain's Place. I understand from reading Gut Hook that he used to let hikers uh, tent on his property, but I guess that ended a little while ago. This is Pine Swamp Branch Shelter. Uh, it's got a fireplace inside, so this is a great place to be when it's very cold. And it's dedicated to Robert William Trimpey. Hi, I'm Oates. Uh, I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. Um, I started my through hike in late February because I wanted to avoid the bubble. And at Hot Springs, I had to get off with Achilles tendonitis um, for three weeks. And so this is my second day back, and I'm really excited. I got a new pack and new sleeping bag, dropped like 10 pounds off my base awesome. weight. Yeah. Um, and it just I, there were multiple times today that I stopped and I was like, yeah, okay, I absolutely want to be out here. It's absolutely Good. worth Good coming back. Yeah. So what brought you, what, what life experience or opportunity gave you the ability to jump off the trail and come out and do the, get in the woods for six months? Um, I graduated college in May. Awesome. And, um, Where'd you go? I went to UNC Asheville and okay. I majored in environmental science. Cool. Yeah. And, um, I actually worked for the Appalachian Trail Conservancy last year. I did volunteer opportunity promotion and um, it's really cool like knowing all of the connections I know now yeah. because even hopping on the trail yesterday, I saw this giant crew of um, Virginia Tech students and I recognized some of them wow. from some of the conferences I had yeah. been to. So that was a pretty cool experience. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, th thanks for giving me a couple of minutes of your time. Yeah, of okay, and all the best <laughs> in your hike. Thank you. Just came across the Allegheny Trail. I guess it shares part of the uh, AT and runs for 330 miles. I'm inside my tent. Holy guacamole. I made my 15 mile goal, but I was setting the tent up in a driving rain. So I'll flip the camera around and show you the inside. <laughs> At least I'm out of the rain right now. I'm soaked. I brought my pack in here to minimize getting it wet and as you can see uh, the floor of the tent is pretty wet I'm trying to mop it up as best I can with uh, this bandana without a whole lot of success but anyway I'll get my uh, air mattress in here so me and my sleeping bag will be able to stay up uh, high and dry and I'll keep everything else in waterproof bags but what a mess and uh, so far so good.